We now feel the severe economic impact of COVID-19, but in March of 2020, a global health pandemic as a high impact, low probability event wasn't part of many organizations' risk plans. The products we needed were hard to find from brick and mortar and online retailers alike, and companies had to rethink meeting demand with smaller teams. As existing revenue streams were paused, prioritizing responses to COVID-19 became an urgent need. Could surplus inventory be reallocated to different sales channels? Could a service-oriented workforce pivot effectively to a remote environment? I got a call from Grant Thornton's risk assessment team. We realized that perhaps half of our business may be out of business for a period of time. Initially, we thought it may be four weeks, 12 weeks, and then it would pass. But then uh, we understood that this was bigger than anything we had imagined. Businesses needed predictive modeling fed by reliable public health information to confidently project performance over varying time horizons, to help navigate the maze of potential risk mitigations, and to reevaluate their supply chain or service model to meet spikes in demand. At Grant Thornton, we saw an opportunity to help enable better decisions about operational continuity. We knew that to be effective, predictive pandemic modeling had to account for unique industry factors. Using data from a significantly large data pool, harmonized to relevant public health information to present a balanced, unbiased picture, making our output sensitive to geography, industry, and business type was critical to success. Within weeks of the first confirmed COVID cases, Grant Thornton launched the Pandemic Resiliency Assessment and made it available to any interested organization free of charge between March and August, whether or not they were Grant Thornton clients. Using our proprietary risk model, the Grant Thornton Pandemic Framework, the assessment considers the potential business and financial impacts of different pandemic responses for public, private, or not-for-profit companies. So a university or community organization can benefit from the same predictive modeling power as a Fortune 100 company. We were and are the first professional services firm to develop a tool capable of this versatility and offer it at scale. Grant Thornton's innovation rested on our ability to collect responses in an industry agnostic way, pair them with reliable health data, and synthesize them into actionable customized insights, all using a survey that can be completed in only a few minutes. The survey queries on four key business drivers, liquidity and cash flow management, people and labor, supply and demand, external factors, after completing the survey, each respondent can access data relevant to their unique situations, taking into account aggregate COVID cases and local state and national infection risk. By considering various risk mitigation factors, for example, state and school reopening plans, we can compile a predictive forecast for working capital under different pandemic scenarios, such as reoccurring peaks and valleys, a fall 2020 peak, and a slow burn. Participants receive pandemic risk assessment scorecards assessing their readiness in the four business impact areas and a virtual consultation with Grant Thornton's risk consultants. For the over 600 companies that participated, Grant Thornton translated the scorecard results into near-term and long-term action steps and insights about their business resiliency and cash flow. Here's what two Grant Thornton clients had to say about the pandemic resiliency assessment. Provided me with fantastic information that allowed me to prioritize what we had to do in order to get through the response. Whether it was looking at our resiliency, business plans, or liquidity, for us it was all about the people. And how much could we stay virtual? Could we help our clients stay more virtual? Having the analytics that went across industries and across our industry was incredibly useful for us. It was a wake-up call, a game-changer, because half of our business which is restaurants, colleges, universities, uh, were all out of business and the cash flow pressures were enormous. So I just want to thank Grant Thornton for coming to us with not just a heads up, but the tools and the consulting services to help us get ahead of a enormous problem and cut through the clutter. So thank you.